Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, have another beautiful day going off here today. Little warm, little toasty. About 84 degrees, which is a little past my comfort zone and just a little bit humid, which is uh, a little uncomfortable. Kind of rare. Trade winds aren't blowing so great today, which gets a little humid. And see if I can show you these beautiful orchids that just bloomed. These are my my favorite. I'm not sure what they're called. They don't bloom that often. But they're really amazing. Okay, out of the sun now. So I just unpacked this box with all of these components to build another standalone system. And I sometimes forget that not everybody knows uh, exactly what I'm talking about. So I kind of wanted to gear this towards uh, people who are just beginning or just thinking about getting into a solar system just to show really how few components you need to make a small system and start to subsidize your energy use or maybe even head towards all of your energy use being off of solar. So anyway, these this is the uh, Reliable Electric Pure Sine Wave Inverter, 2000 watts. You do need a inverter. And let me say that this entire system here is what you need except for the battery and the solar panel. Now I'm going to build this system and show you all how it goes together and how absolutely easy it is, even if you are a beginner. So back to the inverter. I went with the, another reliable electric. I have a couple of even more uh, budget-friendly inverters that I use that work well for the system I'm building and what I have planned for it. Uh, the reason I went with this is it does have a hard wire capability, which you can see in my previous videos on the larger 3000 watt model. But when I was looking at all of the inverters that are available today, and there are just so many to choose from, a lot of them are cheaper than this. I would call this about a mid-grade uh, mid inverter. It has worked perfectly for me in the 3000 watt model. And that's why I chose this, uh, just because I know this brand, it works well, it's not outrageously expensive. And then this one does have the hard wire capabilities, which I'm probably going to uh, be using at some point. So, <clears throat> besides that, of course, uh, you need a charge controller. Got that. And that is to regulate the amount of power coming from your solar panels into your battery and maintaining it at the proper voltage so you don't have to worry about it. You do need a good charge controller. This is the Victron MPPT 7515 designed for smaller systems. Got a couple of breakers here. I use this uh, cable entry port for going through a wall when I bring my solar panel cables which are right here. I like these cables a lot. I use them in a lot of installations out here. They're from Bouge RV. Uh, they're very high quality. These are 30 feet in length so and you can just snap on and add more length if you need it. So got those extension cables. This right here is the bus bars, and for those of you that have seen my previous systems, you know that's, this is what they look like. And this is so you don't have to stack up all your connections onto your battery, which you really don't want to do. This gives you a lot more versatility. So bus bars, coarse cables, these are all two aug cables. These are the cables I use uh, going from the charge controller. A couple of small inline breakers 
and that's for what is in this box is a battery monitor. Now this is an option and I'll show you what that looks like over here. This is that battery monitor already installed. I like to use one so just at a glance I can see uh, what my battery level is at. 23 per uh, that one, well, it's not quite accurate. I turned it off, so I've got about 40% in there. It's reading to only 2.3%. I have to reset that. But I use one. It's not absolutely necessary, especially with that Victron charge controller, because uh, this has a Bluetooth app for your phone. You can monitor exactly what your system is doing by just tapping onto your app and looking at it. Got another fuse here, and then got uh, an isolator switch to shut the solar panels off if I uh, want to. And that looks like this installed. So I haven't even got to opening those boxes. The main part of what I wanted to show all of you, especially for uh, the beginner crowd is that's all you need like I said except for a battery which I'm going to show you how to tie that in and a solar panel or two or three or however many you need to run for whatever you want to do but this is it this is the complete parts list inverter a couple of breakers a couple of uh, bus bars a pass-through if you have to go through a wall. I really like these. They're waterproof. They're insect-proof. Uh, out here we have these what they call little fire ants. They're so small they're almost invisible to the naked eye. And if I have any kind of uh, opening that's not completely sealed tight, they will find a way in. They'll crawl right up the cables. So I like these because it keeps everything out as well as the weather. All of your cables. Like I said, I do like to use the uh, battery monitor for my own purposes. Not absolutely necessary. If you wanted to even come in a little cheaper, these are about 45 bucks, I believe. So that is absolutely not necessary. I consider everything else here besides that as absolutely necessary. So this is a fairly budget-friendly system. Just add your battery, add whatever solar panels you're going to run, and you're done. You've got a plug-and-play system. And I'm going to show you how this all goes together. I'm going to get everything unpackaged, not in today's video, but coming up. And that's all I wanted to say today is, like, don't, if you're sitting on the fence, as a beginner and you think it's too complicated, it's really not. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how easy this all goes together. Flip on the switch, plug in what you want to run. You're going to be up and running. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. More on this to come. I'm going to get this up and running. Over the weekend, tie in a battery and show you what it looks like. Aloha.